County Limerick, Ireland. The year is 1847. Ireland, a woman seems to need very little reason to kill a man or herself. And how are they in South Africa? A little more civilized. You like to dismount? Why? Well, your recklessness has lamed my horse. I'm very sorry. Well, in that case, then, you should be happy to walk him back oh, to the stables. I doubt that. I don't. Well, I finally made you speak to me, even if it was an insult. Do you know you've been a guest in my house for two weeks and you've thought of nothing and spoken of nothing but horses? I'm a guest of your father's. I came to Ireland to buy horses, not to be killed by one. Oh, come now, Mr. Von Riebeck. You're not really going to make me walk all the way home. Oh, yes, Miss O'Neill. I am. Katie. We call it Katya in South Africa. Don't you ever think of anything except South Africa? Yes. Right now, I think this is our dance.
Goodbye, dear. Beautiful, murderous killer. In. In. Chaka. Yes, inclusive. When will they be ready? Tomorrow, inclusive. Then we go home. Good, inclusive. I've been looking all over for you. I was here paying for my horses. We're invited to Lady Vernon Saturday. Saturday? Saturday I'll be on the way to South Africa. Oh, Paul. Oh, I told her we'd be there. I have to leave, Katya. You have to leave? Just like that? Well, not just like that. Oh, couldn't you stay a bit longer? For my sake. I'm sorry, Katya. Well, if it's that important, I'll go with you to South Africa. No, you couldn't live there, Katya. It's a hard and grim land, wild and untamed. You think I'm tame? It couldn't be, Katya. Paul, I don't care how hard or how bad it is. If I'm with you, I can live any way you live. I'm sure of that, Katya. But that isn't it. Well, what is it then? Well, it's... It's what I belong to. The only thing that I can belong to. It's a, a country we're trying to build, a, a, a dream we're trying to make come true. We call it the Dutch Free State. I lead a group of border fighters called Commandos. Our only home is the jungle and the mountains. We live by our guns and for our dream. Once I lived as you do, Katya, a fine home like this in Cape Town. You gave it all up to fight? Yes. Then this is all that matters to you, this dream? Yes. Not you, or me, or our lives. Not anything. I just want to say goodbye, Squire, and thank you for everything. Uh, it's a good day for a man who's leaving Ireland. A bad one for those who stay. Why, what's happened? Potato blight has crossed into our county. Every farm is hit by it. But you're not a potato farmer, Squire. In Ireland, there are only two crops, sir. Potatoes and famine. Well, then I'd seek a more merciful land. But there are good lands all over the world for raising a hundred crops. And I'm going back to one of them now, South Africa. Perhaps I'm just a little biased about my own country. At any rate, goodbye, Squire. Goodbye. God bless you. Goodbye, Sean. Good luck.
Within six months, the blight destroyed the green of Ireland. With the hunger came fear, plague, and death. My father was one of the first to go. His last words were an echo of what the South African had said. Find a new land, a more merciful land. In the year that passed, many things happened. I married Sean Kildare. We turned our backs on Ireland, and during the long six months voyage to South Africa, our child was born. Let me have him, Maggie. Are you afraid, Sean? Not with you. It's like the end of the world. Or the beginning. Cape Town, like something out of the Arabian Nights, full of strange people and sounds and color. A new world, Paul's world. Our very entrance seemed a good omen. New friends, the De Groot family, were kind enough to give us a lift from the boat to the town. What is all this? They're preparing for the big trek to Hoffman Valley. What are they trekking for? Land, son. Free land. As much as a man can farm. Are you a farmer? I was. Then it's a land for you. Hoffman Valley? Where is that? 800 miles. Hiya, Jim! Hi, Maria. Hoffman's a name in the wilderness, but we'll make it a place. You're going? I am. And the brood with me. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Everything is. It's just the Zulu country that's bad, and we'll have an escort through there. Paul von Riebeck and his commandos will meet us at the Blood River. Von Riebeck? We knew him in Ireland. The same. Where is he? Who knows? Up north, fighting, anywhere, everywhere. But he'll meet us. Do you want to go? Well, it's rich land. It's new land. It sounds good. I want to go. Buy no potatoes. This is uh, De Groot. Could we go? Sure, if you want to. What do we have to do to join? Well, here comes Simon Howth, the track leader. He can tell you. Hey, Simon! <laughs> Simon. Maria. John. Simon, these are the Kildares from Ireland. They want to join the trek. Mr. Kildare. How do you do, sir? Aggie O'Toole. Uh, it's not quite as simple as it might seem. You'll need equipment. A wagon, oxen, guns, supplies. Well, I'll get them. Can you ride, shoot, farm? I've done them all. It's a long, hard journey, and some of us will never finish it. Can we join? Would you uh, want to come over to headquarters with me now? Why don't you, Sean? Go ahead. We'll wait right here. Oh, Aggie, I forgot to ask you. You always do. Do you think it'll be all right? It's what you wanted, isn't it? From the very beginning? Now, what do you mean by that? You know what I mean. That's what I like about you. You're sweet and modest. Be just that while I'm gone. I won't have to, Kurt. I'm going too. Maria de Root's going on the trek, and I'm going with her. Just to be with you. What's the matter? You disappointed? No. Kurt! Kurt! 
Yes, Father. Check all the wagons, Kurt. And let me know just as soon as they're ready to leave. Yes, sir. Track before? No, never. It's pretty rough. <laughs> That's what they tell me. Can you ride? I never sat a horse until I was six years old. Keep your eye on your wheel block. On the, on the what? You know what a wheel block is? Oh, you mean that contraption down there? Yeah, in, in Ireland, we call it a scotch brake. You do. Well, watch it. It's important. That's what I've been told. Now, I'm telling you, and you know it. Pardon, madame, are you the Kildares? I'm one of them. Uh, we are the Joubert, riding in front of you. Oh, well, then we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Sean? Hmm? Sean? Yes? These are our neighbors, the Joubert. Enchanté. How do you Enchanté, do? Enchanté, monsieur. Me. You are also from a distant place? Uh, from Ireland. We are from France. My father here is 80. That is young for a Basque. In France, I was a cook. In Africa, I want to be a good farmer. I was a good farmer, but a bad cook. Then we will help each other. It's a bargain. <laughs> they already could. Well, as ready as they'll ever be. All right. Stop. We're on the edge of Zulu country. See there? That's a Zulu crawl. I shot these for you, Cuddy. Thank you, Kurt. You've been kind to us. To you. How soon before we reach Hoffman? Who knows? First the river and then across the mountains. And where do we meet Von Ripley? The river. Only walk one.
make of it, Kurt? Of what? Von Rebeck's not meeting us here. Oh, he knows what he's doing. I hope so. He always has. Aggie, mm -hmm. you see that? Von Rebeck. I see a skull. It's an arrow to show us the way. Then it's pointing wrong. Nothing but women. Come on. There are no men, Noom Simon. Not even in the field? No. We've seen ten crawls, and it's always the same. The men are gone. That's strange. Maybe this has something to do with why von Rebick didn't meet us at the river. Rest their What is it, Pete? Zulus, thousands of them. Where? Camp by the river. 
north side of the pass, about two hours from here. We'll have to get word to Von Rebeck. I'll go. I'll find No, him. you'll be needed here. Pete, go back. Circle the Zulus to the north and look for Von Rebeck. Find him. Yes, Father. Prepare for battle. Make outside shelters for the children. Get the oxen out and trample the grass against fire. Cut thorn bushes and make barricades underneath, around, and beyond the wagons. Now fill it up. Yeah, there, right up to the top. And also under this wagon, right up to the belly. He said thousands of them, Maria. Thousands. And we only have 50 men. We have rifles, and with one of these, I'm like 10 men. And a thousand Zulus looking for trouble. Von Rebeck won't be far away. And Pete will find him. And if he doesn't, then Paul will find us. We're in trouble, and that's something he could always find. No, no, overlap them, overlap them. Oxide's the only thing that'll stop an assegai. What? An assegai, you'll find out. Hand me the other skin. York. He got a gun. He lost it with his wagon. Joubert, you want a rifle? It is the land of death. Well, here's something to die with. Cody, when the signal's given, put your baby over there in the shelter. I'll be back. I'll fight at your wagon. Thank you, Pierce. No, you promised to fight with me. I can fight with you anytime. You're in love with her. That is why you fight at her wagon. Ah, Kurt! 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 Stop that! Stop it! What do you think she is? Come on, Kurt. You come with me. That's what she is. Smile at her and she thinks she owns you. She's in love with you, whatever she is. Oh. You don't understand such woman, Cuddy. I'm afraid, Sean. All of a sudden, I'm afraid. We all are, my darling. It's all my fault. I never should have brought you here. You didn't bring me here, Katie. We came together. And however it ends, that's all that matters to me, that we're together.
Come, speak, Konkose. Your people, Chaka? Not my people, Nkose. They are deserters who fight under their own chief. How many? Drums say many from north. A great many, Chaka? Like leaves on trees. Wake the men. Peace, but be prepared to fight. Well, in the game. Marie, how can they hope to win 50 men and boys against an army of thousands? He's trying, Katya. Simon knows what he's doing. Come in friendship to meet the proud Zulu. We ask nothing but peace. All they say is kill, kill, kill. Tell them we have sent a messenger and the commandos are coming to our aid.
we scared him off? It's because you don't know how Zulus fight. You think they'll be back? I don't think I know. They'll be back, all right. Back and back and back till we kill every one of them. Or they slaughter every one of us. Load your rifles and be ready.
You lead the spare horses to the ammunition. Christian, we'll charge through the Zulus around the lager. Ready? Move! It does no good to be alone. There's going to be a meeting of the people. We were down to our last bullet. It couldn't have lasted another hour. Now they hour. all know you'd be on time. Of course. But I was the one who knew it. Of course you did, Kurt. But did you? Paul! Paul! Maria! <laughs> oh, my lovely Maria. <gasps> There's more of you to hug than ever. <laughs> I don't think so, Aggie. You take him on into the wagon. Isn't that Katya O'Neill? Katya Kildare. Poor thing. Her husband was killed in the battle. Husband? Sean. He was killed in the first attack. Katya. Paul. I just learned about Sean. I'm sorry. Yes. I can hardly believe it. You, Katya, here in Africa fighting Zulus. It's me. It's still good to see you, Katya. It was good to see you, Paul, for everybody. It gave them their lives, some of them. <coughs> Let me have him, Maggie. Isn't he that African we met in Ireland? Yes. I suppose we have him to thank for all this. And our lives. You know her? Yes, from Ireland. I told them a long time ago to find a new land, and now she's alone in it. Oh, no, she isn't, Paul. I fought at her wagon. You almost left me for the Zulus. Oh, I wouldn't do that, old friend. You're going to take us to Hoffman? All the way. Pick these for you, Cotty. Thank you, Kurt. Why did you leave Cape Town? Well, I've told you. We wanted free land, just like everybody else. Was Paul long an island? I really don't remember. He bought some horses for my father. See you again.
There'll be a place for you in the government when we get the free state court. Not me. I had my fill of it. Fighting and politics both. I don't want to build a state. I want to build a house to live in. I want to go to bed with something except a gun. We'll hang up our guns and all of us start building when it's finished. You finish it. I will. There's nothing else in your life, is there? Huh? Nothing else in your mind? Not yet. Well, there isn't mine. You don't approve? I'd say it was a bit too soon. It's never too soon to live, Aggie. And maybe never too late. Cardi? Katya? You'll have all the men at your heels and all the women at your throat. Cuddy, you look beautiful. Will you dance with me? Why, Kurt, aren't you going to ask me for a dance? Well, I did. Well, thank you. I must talk to you. Well, not here. We're holding up the dance. We must move on. Not until you tell me what I want to know. I'll meet you at your wagon. Aggie and the boy are sleeping. Let's walk. Why have you been avoiding me, Paul? Look, Katya, this is not Ireland. This is South Africa. And Kurt is my friend. What's Kurt got to do with it? He fought at your wagon. Out here, when a man does that, it means something. It meant nothing to me. Sean fought at my wagon and died there. That meant something. Chaka, wait here. Does Kurt know how you feel? I don't know what he knows or what he thinks. I don't care. I care about you. What you think. I want to know, Paul. Why did you come to South Africa, Katya? Didn't you say to leave Ireland, find a new land? Yes, well, Australia's a new land, or, or America. But why did you come to South Africa? You. Me? You, you married Sean, brought him here and your child for me? Does that shock you? Well, don't you think that it should? I don't know what to think. Can I tell you what love is? Does anybody know? I loved Sean. I thought you were just a memory. I was sure of myself. I thought if I ever met you again, I could look at you and smile and be all right. 
I was wrong. I can't. When I saw you again, I knew I loved you and nobody else. All these years, everything I'd done was for you, to find you, to be with you. If I deceived anyone, it was only myself. If that was wrong and bad, then so am I. I love you, and that's all I know. Katya. No. You asked me, now I ask you. What was it to you? Was I just another girl? Was I just someone you met and kissed on the spur of the moment? Was I just someone you could leave and walk away from without a backward look? I must know, Paul. Was it that easy for you? No, it was not easy to leave you in Ireland. To go back to my life and try to make it what it was before you. Do you think it was easy these last weeks? With you at one end of the trek, me at the other, and my friend Kurt in between? I tried to fill the emptiness with work and violence. I tried to get you out of my mind. It can be done, too, Katya. But not as long as I live. beautiful than you told me it was going to be. You choose the land. I want you... You liars. Liars, both of you. You tricked me. Nobody tricked you, Court. Nobody will again. You made a mistake, Court. Don't make another. I haven't made any I can correct. Listen to me, Court. Of it. I'm sorry. Uh, he'll get over it. Well, what do you think of it? It's wonderful. How much of it is mine? As much as you can cover on a horse in half a day. Where would you like the house, Katya? Right there, facing the river. I want four rooms to begin with. Four? Nothing else? No, no ballroom, no wine cellar? Someday, everything. Well, two will be enough to start with. 
Oh, you, I love you. Until we have those two rooms, we'll live right here under this wonderful tree. What was the name of your house in Cape Town? Arbon Bloom. The Moonflower? Then this will be our Arbon Bloom. This is where we'll spend our lives, Paul. This is our place. See, it's easier to build the roof on the house than it is the house under the roof. Someday it'll be a mansion. And for miles, all the land will belong to us. Our empire that will rule together. Is that what you want? Well, don't you? Nope. Well, what do you want? To make it free. Our land and, and everyone's. Now, what's the matter with him? I don't know. I love this hour. The evening hush, your people call it when everything's at peace. You once told me I could never live here, a woman like me. Remember? I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know whether you were or not. Mm, I've never been so tired. I'm not. Just say that so I won't stop. <laughs> Paul. Hmm? Are you happy? Happy? I mean with me. You know I am. Well, 
I don't know what he's doing, but it isn't respectable. He's driving off the evil spirits, Aggie. Well, spirits or no, I'm gonna move in now. I can't hold the men together any longer, Paul. I'm not their leader, you are. It's just a short time now, Christian. It's been three months. Is that a long time for a man to have for himself? For you, yes. Without you, the commando is nothing. Either lead them or disband them. All right, Christian. I'll be there tomorrow. He told you you ought to go. Is that it? Yes. And what did you say? Well, they depend on me, Katya. I depend on you, too. Yes, but it's more than that. It's, it's more than just you and me. Have you been unhappy with me, Paul? You know I haven't. Well, then, isn't that enough? Isn't that what matters, what really counts? I won't let you go. Not ever. Not for anything in this world. No, I won't listen to you. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll never let you. God grant your mission be successful, Paul. We all pray for a Dutch-free state. It may be six months, maybe a year. When I finish, I'll return. Tell her that, Simon. I will. Cut you. I'll do it. you for this. I hate you. Ready? Mount. I've been so worried about you. You look pale. Are you ill? Oh, no, I feel wonderful. How are you, Kurt? Aggie, Maria's here. Oh, but you're welcome, Maria. You're a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> We've had no one to talk to. Oh, you should see how Terence has grown. Yes. Take her in and show her the boy. Oh, the boy is wonderful. He you is. wouldn't know it. It's been so long since I've seen him. Oh, yes, well, he's grown so. I'm glad to see you, Kurt. I could have done it better. Of course you could.
And I can plow better than that, too, in my sleep. I know. You're probably the best farmer in this part of the country. I've often wondered how you were. I've been offered a seat in the Council of the Free Staters. Oh. Well, congratulations. Kurt, do you know a farmer, someone who's looking for a good place? I'd share the crops with him. I don't know anyone. You're waiting for Von Rebeck to come back, aren't you? I'm not waiting for anybody. Then I'll wait for you. I'll do your work here. I'll show you the man I am. Oh, Kurt. I'm the man for you, Cotty. And when the planting's over, you'll say so. You'll sit here. I'll sit here. And, Kurt, you can sit at the head of the table. What are you doing here? Oh, I asked Maria to let her help us. There's so much work to be done. I don't want her around. But Julie's going to stay, Kurt. Hi, oh, Cotty. You don't need Julie. We made a bargain, you and me. I'll keep my side of it. It's too big a shadow. Nothing will grow under it. Got to cut it down. This tree stays. This is my land, and I'll do with it what I want. All right. Jaeger. I won't touch your oven room yet. Now, Aggie told me. Taste a bit of this. You're working too hard. I'm all right. Tomorrow or the next day, or whenever the planting is done. She's going to turn you right off the place. Oh, don't you hear me? Don't you believe me? She's tricking you. No one will trick me again. Come in, I want 
watching. Kurt, the thunder's frightening the oxen. See they don't get out. I know what it means, but I cut this place out of a wilderness for you, and I'll cut him out of your life. You're mine now. Kurt, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Let's go back to the house. There's a storm coming up. I ask you decently. Not now, Kurt. Yes, now. I dug and sweat for you. I made a bargain and kept it, and you'll keep yours. No! I said now. No, Kurt, no, it's impossible. Why? I'm going to have a baby! Whose? John's? Paul's? Or when you're dreaming up to trick me? Or any lie you can think up to get rid of me? You're a liar. A cheat and a liar! <laughs> We must decide now. We need more light. Julie, get some more candles. No, Mrs. River too big. Then his leg must come off or he'll die. You must do it, Yancy. I do not like the man. For my sake. For your sake, yes. Come on.
Ładna. When the river goes down, we'll take Kurt to Hoffman. The doctor can tell me when I'm going to have my baby. What about us? What will we do then? Then we'll come back. We'll plow and we'll seed. And we'll begin again. My baby was born. We named him Paul. It was a name that was always in my mind. We worked to build up my farm again. It was slow, cruel, impossible. And then one day, months later, we rode into Hoffen. Mrs. Good morning, Simon. Aggie. Good morning. Tell me, how is Kurt? Oh, he's not good. He's eating his heart out. Well, how's the fine new baby? Oh, strong as his Irish ancestors. Fine. Come one, come all to Schumann's stall. Menehag, get these three, three flowers. Here, the Abergis Papa. Menehag, my frauen, this is the last time I take Dutch money. The next time, I want to be paid in gold. Where would we get gold? Where are farmers, Meneer? Up there. The mountains are full of it. Send your farm hands. Give them the things you don't want and let them trade with the mountain natives for nuggets. I've never seen a nugget. Show me one. <laughs> come one, come all to human stall. Regardless of the weather, bargains big and bargains small. They're here to buy at Schumann's stall. Oh, my God, that's all. This is Kildare. Well, the heathen are here again, waiting to trade their gold for your trash. I hope they like what I've got left. She'll be trading the both of you next. <laughs> Tally ho! I hear like. Nancy, tell him this in exchange for his gold. Welcome, Biko, Wonyacha. So, Chum Sadi Bedanya, Ugu, Barokoro, Sibama, Hafsa, in Yadanaka, Biko, Kayam, Yago, Yoko, Biko, Adam, Achamia, Biko. He says, It is not enough. He has come a very long way. Tell him he's a robber. Kerela. Ah, I'm going to sing. Wait. Jerry. You're a thief. <laughs> Who else has gold, Jancy? This man says he has no gold, but he has this. Does Mrs. Like? If it's what I think it is, Mrs. Likes very much. Give this man all I've got left. Alison. We're going to start all over again, Aggie, but not here. We're going to Cape Town. We're going to live. We'll show them how the Irish can live. Oh, love. Suppose it isn't a diamond after all. It was a diamond one of the largest found in South Africa. I sold the diamond, and with the money settled in Cape Town to a life I'd always dreamed of living. I had a house, property, position. 
Although I had my sons, I was alone. Over the years, I haunted every place Paul knew. I tried to hear some echo of him. The money I spent so freely failed to bring me happiness. In South Africa, finally the dream of a Dutch free state became a reality. But for the Dutch, there was one more battle to win. They wanted to have their own representative in the National Assembly at Cape Town. Oh, yes, sir. Captain Eden's expecting you, sir. Commandant Van Riebeck, sir. Oh, Captain good Eden. morning, Commandant. Well, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but the uh, final word is that the governor won't see you. And I repeat that I will not take that word back to my people. But, uh, my dear sir, we've acknowledged your existence as a state. Why won't you be satisfied? Those who are fit to be free were entitled to be represented. And the governor is entitled to his decision. Uh, would you like a glass of water, sir? No, thank you. Well, Captain, I will not leave Cape Town without seeing the governor. Good day, sir. Uh, one minute, Commandant. I've heard it said that you're a very stubborn man. Have you? Officially, of course, your request to see the governor was quite impossible. But unofficially, sir, uh, this evening, a ball is being held in Sir George's honor. And I have been asked to invite you. Yeah. Beneath the official uniform beats an unofficial heart. A British custom, sir. Where is the ball to be held? At Arbin Bloom. Arbin Bloom? Yes. Thank you, Captain. Oh. We seem to have a friend in high places. Well, the governor agreed to see you? No. I have agreed to go to a ball. Commandant. Captain Eaton. I believe you know the mistress of Arben Room. How are you, Commandant? Sir George, I don't think you've met Commandant von Riebeck. A pleasure, sir. Excellent. He's been trying to see you about something very important. Yes, sir, for a fortnight now. Ah, I... but I promised there'd be no politics in my house. So, Sir George, would you meet him tomorrow at your mansion? Say 10 o'clock? You leave me little choice. My compliments to you, sir. Mrs. Kildare is worth an army of commandos. Well, there you are. Well, isn't that what you've wanted? Isn't that why you've come to Cape Town? That was one of the reasons. There's another? You know there is. You've changed, Katya. Have I? You're even more beautiful than I remember. If that's possible. Auburn Bloom has changed too. It's beautiful again. The way it was? The way it was long ago. Will you dance with me?
you, Paul. Did the governor agree? To everything, almost. Oh, I'm so glad. Sit down, Paul. Katya, last night you did in one moment what I've been unable to do in two years. The Dutch people will never be able to thank you enough. Nor will I. Oh, it, it's strange, all of it. You, everything. Happening here at Dobbin Gloom, where I was born. I hung my stockings here. So do the boys. Would you like to walk around the place and see it again with me? Yes, I have time before I go. Go. Well, the news of our success is important to my people, Katya. Well, it'll keep for an hour or two. Come on. This is my place. I used to come here and dream of what I would become and all the splendid things that would happen to me. I come here too. You do? Many times. Lonely people look for lonely places. Are you lonely? Sometimes. What do you dream about, Katya? Just dreams. About what I missed and lost. About you. And me? You never lose what you remember, Katya. I've dreamed about you many times, in many places. Why does it always have to be a dream? I bounced you on my knee when you were a baby this big. And now look at you. You're a man. And who's this young fellow? He got a splinter. A splinter? In his finger. Well, yeah, well let's have a look. A splinter's not very much. Is it all right if I have a look? Yeah, let's we'll see if we can find it. We couldn't squeeze it out. Uh, there it is. Now you just hold that still. And we'll have that out of there in no time. Now... Still now. Just about. There. There we are. Oh, you're a brave little man. You didn't even cry. What's your name? Ah, uh, he's my brother. Why didn't you tell me, Katya? Why? So you could dream about him, too, in strange places? But I had a right to know. I'd have come back from anywhere. And tell me, where would I have found you to tell you? Where was the hero leading the commando? Well, I'm back. Yes, now you're back. And you've been told. You're back, and you've gotten something done, and you're leaving again to tell them, so they can sing your praises. Paul von Riebeck, the savior of his people, the father of his country, but not of his son. You arranged it all, didn't you? First Bob and Bloom, and then that business with the governor, and now this. You tell me all this just to keep me. You think they're all lies? Yes, I think it. I think your whole life is a lie. All oh, but the boy, he's the truth, and that you wouldn't tell me. Get out. I never want to see you again in my life. Not until I come back for my son. Your son? You think now that he's yours? Well, he isn't, and he never will be. You have to share something to own it. You have to live for something except yourself to belong to anything. Well, I'll be back. You come back for him, and you'll kill me first. 
Not that you aren't good at that, too. But that's the way it will be. Is that it? That's it. And now get out. Get out. Get out! I lost Arben Bloom, as I'd lost so many other things. But there was nothing to do but start again. If there were diamonds to be found, I could find them too. Unless it was God's will that I pay in full for the ways I'd lived and loved. At least it was Aggie's will that I never be left in peace with my shame. Did you hit it? Oh, it's a big one. They looking for diamonds too? Maybe. I don't know. Ho! Oh. Now, Terence, let me do all the talking. Where are you going, ma'am? Coldsburg. The town's been taken over by outlaws. Killed the mayor and stole our diamonds. Every decent person's left town. I beg you to turn back. Have the soldiers been sent for? Yeah, but ours isn't the only town that's been taken. Who knows when they'll get to Colesburg? I'll find out. Katie! All you have left are these boys. You want to lose them, too? We came here for diamonds. Yep. And diamonds we're going to get. So this is Colbert, eh? Well, this is a den of iniquity. <laughs> now, where? How are you, beautiful? Where are you going? Colesburg. Well, you're there, and I'm waiting. Say, you're kind of pretty not to have a man with you. Get away from me, you scum. Oh, come on down, pretty. Don't do... Don't you do it. Let her alone. That's a friend of mine. I didn't know, boss. I'm sorry. Kurt! Kurt! Put these horses in my barn. Yes, sir. Get in this house right here, all of you. Two. Yes, sir. Show them in. Yeah. I'll be back. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, Kurt, I'm so glad to see you. What are you here for? Diamonds. Aggie, take the boys in this room. I want to talk to Kurt. Why not? Lose one part of your body, the rest grows stronger. Julie! Hello, Julie. Bring us a drink. We have a guest. Sit down, Cotty. You like this house? You belong to the mayor. Now I'm the mayor of Colesburg. He was killed, wasn't he? He made a fool of himself and he paid for it. You should understand that. Perhaps you will, too. Have you come for Kurt? He's rich now, you know, and powerful. Shut up and get out. But I'm not afraid of you anymore because what's left of him belonged to me. Get out! May I tell you what's left of me? Colesburg belongs to me. I'm the power and the law here. And from here we go to the next place and the next. So the whole territory is mine. Been 
Did you see the people running? Did they tell you what had happened? They told me. Why didn't you go back? Oh, I know. You didn't have anything to go back to. You lost it all. Him, Alvin Bloom, everything. Not everything. I still have two sons. He wanted the boy. The boy, but... Not the mother. They're coming. Where? Just beyond the Malu line. Get the men ready. Yes. What is it? What's happening here? Sit down, Connie. Sit down and wait for him. Haven't we always waited for him, one place or another, you and I? Paul? I never thought the day I'd kill him would bring you back, too. Ruined. Crawling in your hands and knees for diamonds. Don't crawl, Connie. Here, take these for me. Sit down. You were always a fool. None of it would have ended like this except for you. He didn't want you. You didn't want me, but you lied and cheated both of us, even God. At least I would have married you. I would have kept you decent. Isn't that the truth? For once in your life, can't you see the truth? Yes. Yes, it's the truth. Ah. Down the Mallow Road and found Rebeck sleeping him. You still want him? I'll give him to you. Watch him. Keep her in here. Yes, sir. They've abandoned it. Maybe they have. It's just too empty. You know what to do. Send out your leader. Come on. Alone. Court. Yes, Paul, it's me. And you're surrounded. You rode right into my trap. This town belongs to the Free State Court. It's mine now, and I don't recognize a free state. We've all fought too long and too hard for freedom to lose it this way. Get out, Paul. Take your men and get out while you can. Is this your final word? That's the way it is. Ready and waiting. We'll attack. When they open fire, we'll retreat and draw them out into the open. Ready? Go. <laughs>
signal. There's the signal. Let's go! down, Kurt. You make one move, Paul, and I'll kill him. Anybody moves, and I'll kill him. Throw that gun over here. <laughs> what do you want? Your horse, get out. You always win, don't you, Paul? Well, not this time. Because I'm going to kill you. God ride with you, Christian. Thank you, Paul. May he also ride with you. Chaka. Serve Lieutenant Christian as you've served me. Farewell, Incorsi. Ready! No, Paul. Katya, do you remember? In Cape Town, I told you there were two reasons that I'd come to see you. Yes. And you heard the first reason. You never heard the second. Where to, Paul? Hoffman, back to the land. 